always told that if you let a man feed you, you're possibly letting a man starve you. You know what I'm saying? For real, you should never be looking for a relationship. The relationship is going to come to you. Incorporate new things in the bedroom. I don't know if y'all into whips, chains, bondage. I don't know, girl. If you want to lick something off the, the Hershey's chocolate syrup, whipped cream. I don't know, girl. Bitch, let's talk about it, okay? Holy. Got the dumb pig, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so hot. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the motherfucking channel. Okay, I got a lot of energy today, but it's your Terry and if you don't know, now you know, and now we are best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So you already know the drill. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below what things you want me to do next. Follow me on social media. Turn on your push notifications bell. All that good stuff, okay? And for those who are really doing it, and for those who really rock with me, I bang with you, okay? Because... That means I'm not over here talking for nothing. I'm not wasting my voice. So anyways, I'm excited, okay? First of all, I'm cute. What's up? Uh, do y'all know that I don't have foundation on today? Like, y'all. Y'all, okay? Like, you see my little specs? And I am perfectly fine with that because that means my skin coming together because I don't got no texture, okay? I just got dark spots from past pimples. But anyways, that's not what this video was about. So... My homegirl, okay, one of my besties, one of our besties, because we're a community here, okay, she comments on one of my videos, because I tell y'all what things you want me to do next, right, right, and she says, sis, can you do a relationship video, like things about give and take, balance, in a relationship, and I was like, that's a great idea, so, y'all see that I'm in the car, I will just hit my elbow, y'all see that I'm in the car, I have decided to create a new series, because you know we gotta keep y'all entertained, I feel ashy, hold on, wait, I feel like my hands are ashy, and I talk a lot with my hands, I don't like that feeling, I, I put lotion on y'all, I'm not a dusty hoe, I put lotion on, but I think I washed my hands before leaving out, so it washed away, the lotion, oh, also y'all, if y'all never got the bum bum cream, the bum bum Brazilian cream, the sun is not trying to let me live. But y'all, this smells so freaking good. It smells like mango. So if you like tropical scents, get on it. Okay, I know it's in Sephora. It smells so good. It's nice and creamy. The mini size fits in your purse. Oh, love it. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I am starting a new series called Terra Car Talks. Okay, we're going to just sit in the car and we're going to talk about whatever. Whatever y'all want me to talk about. Sure. So the first one is relationships. Kind of sort of about balance. Give and take. And I'm just going to basically give y'all advice on relationships that y'all didn't ask about. Okay? Like y'all ain't asked for the advice, but baby, I'm going to give it to you because that's what we're doing in today's video. Okay? So I have some notes on things I want to comment on. They right here. You know what I'm saying? And for those who like don't know, I, I am in a relationship. So it's not like I'm talking on the side of my neck. Y'all know how people be saying, like, you can't take advice from people who aren't in relationships. Like, you can't take relationship advice from people who aren't in relationships. I don't really think that's true. Because, you know, bitch, that don't mean I was never in a relationship. Like, I can still offer great advice if I'm currently not in a relationship. But for those who don't know, I am. So, whatever floats your boat, I feel like I should be able to get some good advice, okay? So, I feel as though before we talk about what to and not to do in a relationship i feel like we should discuss things that we need to be thinking about before we even hop in one okay so the first part of this car talk is going to be on intentions on getting in a relationship bitch let's talk about it, okay so i feel as though a lot of people when they sit down and say dang i kind of want to be in a relationship i see myself getting in a relationship soon you know, I want a boo thing. I want to be loved on and stuff. You know, they they say that, and I, I kind of don't agree with that. They be like, you know, I want to be in a relationship because I want to experience love or I want to feel loved. I don't think, me personally, that your number one intention on getting in a relationship should be to feel loved. I feel as though you should already feel that from within, from within loving yourself, being around your friends, family, all that. Like, oh, self-love is the best kind of love, baby. Like, if you can't love yourself or if you don't know how to love yourself, how are you going to even expect someone else to know how to love you, how to treat you, what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, your first number one priority in getting a relationship should not be because you want to feel loved. That got to come from other out 
lacks, okay? That gotta come from other sources because if you put that all into your relationship, do you know how much you're gonna depend on that relationship to feel loved? Or do you know how much you're gonna depend on that person to feel loved? And if they dip out on you all, what are you gonna do? have hatred for yourself or feel some type of way or fall into a depression like we don't want that okay so number one intention on getting a relationship should not be focused on feeling loved okay we gotta find that love from somewhere else okay oh my gosh this one <laughs> i feel like i just saw um a woman on youtube and like instagram and stuff that i follow a lot her name is kyla shay kyla shay the shay whatever you want to say kyle kyla shay whatever you want to say i love her okay i'm gonna pop her like a picture or whatever i love her and she was basically going in on the girlies who feel as though they should be dependent on a man so let me let me uh reel it in back up a little bit and tell y'all what the next topic is your intentions on getting in a relationship should not be focused on becoming a dependent you know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be focused or on getting in a relationship, and you shouldn't want a relationship to depend on anyone for their love, their money, travels, lifestyle, things of that nature. Like, we gotta get into our own bag, okay? Because I was always told that if you let a man feed you, you're possibly letting a man starve you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna get in a relationship to be taken care of no 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 okay we want to take care of ourselves and then like whatever extra that your partner does it's extra you know what i'm saying like imagine sitting down and saying damn i'm gonna go shopping today but i gotta wait till they get paid or i want to go get some food but i gotta wait till they cash out me some money what what no ma'am no ma'am don't have no turkey okay y'all say i'm getting comfortable i even pop my leg up you know what i'm saying like no no okay y'all if y'all see me looking outside this lady is doing laps around this parking lot and she's getting in okay she got her mask she got the face shield she got her little suit on yeah get into it she got on purple she's so cute she like an older woman too i need to be out here with her because i'm getting fat but anyways like a lot of women really sit down and say like i'm definitely gonna get in a relationship because i need help with my bills or you know i'm gonna show you how to pimp a nigga that's that's ugh. Oh, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to have a man provide for me. He's not a, he's not a father figure. He's not a, a paternal figure. Like, what is that even? Where did that come from? Like, what century are we in? Like, no, I got my own. I'm going to get my own. I'm going to stay with my own. And whatever he comes with and adds to me, shift kiss. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all should be a unit. Y'all should be building an empire together. You shouldn't be depending on a person. Especially not for a lifestyle. You should want to do that on your own. By self. That way, if he want to up and leave, or you want to up and leave, you can do so. You don't have to be dependent on someone to have what you want in life. Okay? So, first intention on getting a relationship should never be to find love. And it should never to, like, depend on another person. Because all, oh, who wants to do that? You know what I'm saying? So the last one I want to talk about, like, if you're getting in a relationship, but you feel as though there's pressure somewhere, exit left. Exit stage left, okay? If it's pressure, if the pressure ain't applied to diamonds, we don't want it, okay? If you, that was a chat. If you feel pressure to get in a relationship and like that's your reason for getting in a relationship because you feel pressure by your partner or soon to be partner or whatever or like people around you saying, girl, you've been single for too long, you need to get in a relationship. Or, you know, your parents saying, like, you know, if you're older and like you got parents or aunties and uncles and siblings in your ear, like the clock is ticking, like you need to catch a man. Like, no, no, because it's never going to work, okay? It's never gonna work. For for you should never be looking for a relationship. The relationship is gonna come to you. If it's if it's meant to be, it's gonna find you. That person gonna find you. And y'all gonna, you know, hopefully live happily ever after. But you should never be chasing. No, ain't that in the Bible? Women don't chase babies. Okay? I don't know if it's in the Bible or not. But yeah, we're not doing it over here, okay? It's not in the City Girl Bible. It's not in the Hot Girl Summer Bible. So yeah, we're not doing it. But and also, y'all. Okay, so a little story time. The person I'm in a relationship with right now, y'all see him on my channel and stuff. Y'all, I call him Moo, okay, for y'all who don't know. Moo found me. I ain't found Moo, okay? I never expected to be in a relationship with the person I'm in a relationship with, ever. Like, ever. Like, didn't even look at the situation like that. 
at first. You know what I'm saying? It came out of the blue. And, like, the relationships that you don't expect or the friendships that you don't expect to be in, those be the best situations. Like, those come with the best experiences, the best memories. Oh, when it's, like, um... When it's just random and it happens because, like, the universe brought y'all together, that's the best thing. Like, it should never be forced, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been in situationships in the past where, like, I felt like, okay, if we're doing this and we're doing that, I'm talking to you X amount of time, we always link in, I feel like maybe this should form into a relationship. No. Stuff like that don't work out. It's like... One person wants something, the other person don't. Y'all don't be on the same page. Or you feel like you're forcing the situation. Oh, that's uncomfortable. So just let shit happen. And, uh, yeah. I feel like that's going to be the best. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, so moving on. So my girlie, shout out to her. Michelle Patrice, I believe. <laughs> gang, gang, okay? She always supports me. I love her. So she wanted to talk about give and take in a relationship. I, I'm, I hope I'm like... That's my birth control alarm. Y'all already took that for today, but anyways. Because, you know, sometimes a girl be forgetting. Don't forget to take your birth control if you know your birth control, okay? So, um, I hope I'm interpreting this how you want me to. Uh, give and take balance in a relationship, right? So, in terms of giving and taking in a relationship, wants a egalitarian relationship. Is that how you say it? I hope I ain't just saying dumb as shit. But... Yeah, girl, I want everything to be equal over here, okay? I would never want to take something if I know I can't give it in return. And I will hope that someone not just taking and taking from me and they don't have much to give. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't care what it is. Like, okay, so let's focus on finances, right? Because that's just a big topic in, in relationships right now. Like, that's a major... That, that discussion is happening all the time, you know? Like, a lot of people say... Oh, when you move in with your partner, the man should pay all the bills. And then the woman, the woman, you know, she can go grocery shopping. She can, like, buy everything for the kids. Is that another? Why would you not want your name on, like, a lease or a mortgage? Or, like, you know, why would you not want to know how to pay a certain bill or utilities? You know what I'm saying? I, you know, like, why can't everything just be equal? Like, you pay half a bill, and he pay half of the bill, and he go, he buy groceries this week, you buy groceries that week, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Or even, like, just going out on dates. I'm not going to expect my man to pay for every single meal or every single movie ticket or every single Ferris wheel ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not expecting my man to always pay, 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 and be empty in his pockets and I'm just draining him dry. That's not even a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, if you pay for the food, I got the bill or, I mean, not the bill. If you pay for the food, I'll pay for the tip and, like, the Uber there and back or something. Or you got this plate next, you got this meal next time, I pay for the meal another time. We go to the movies, you pay for the ticket, I pay for the food. Like, at least go hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would never want to be, like, sucking a man dry or, like, feeling like I'm taking his last or something. That's just not a good feeling. I feel like that's going to bring you some bad karma in the future if you, like, even approaching a situation like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like everything should be equal. You got to have some balance. Don't be taking, 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 and you can't give. And don't let nobody take take from you too much and they're not giving enough in return you know what i'm saying like don't be a, don't be pushing over on people and don't be a pushover you know what i'm saying balance okay so like keeping a balance within a relationship i feel like it's very like it just depends on the relationship so i would just say do check-ins you know what i'm saying like just communicate that's the only way you want to make sure that everything balances if you talk to your partner if y'all not talking about your issues if you're not talking about possible solutions then like what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all just wasting y'all time at that point. And in terms of communicating, I feel as though it's so important to, like, understand how someone expresses themselves and understand their love language, okay? Some people, they write better than they can talk. So if you guys send homeboy a love letter, then let it let it be that, you know what I'm saying? Or you want to you may want to talk about everything face to face and on FaceTime and stuff but like maybe he got to text you to like or maybe he got to I don't I don't know okay I feel like I'm a great communicator okay I used to not be that way but I I know a lot of people who literally can't talk but they'll they'll be able to like text 
I don't even remember what's the last thing I was talking about, but I think it was about communication and love languages. So yeah, make sure you know how to talk and open up to your partner so they can open up to you, okay? So I know a lot of times people probably feel like they're talking to a brick wall because y'all just not talking to each other how y'all need to be talking to each other, period. And it's like, you want the person to open up and express themselves, so you gotta just uh, have patience, first of all, to let that even happen and meet them where they are you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't fuck with the arguing shit a lot of people don't have patience and don't have the energy or the time for that so everything don't gotta be an argument you know like literally just have a conversation i don't know i'm trying to give y'all the best advice i can without really knowing if y'all got problems so oh i think this would be a good life part two if y'all want me to continue talking about this topic because i know a lot goes in relationships comment down below or like dm me your like problems or something or comment down below and tell me like say yeah babe say yeah babe if y'all want me to do a part two comment down below right now and say yeah babe and then i'm gonna put like a community poll on youtube where it could be like private or y'all could like dm me y'all problems so i can give like direct advice to y'all situations that y'all going through i think that would be so dope okay so comment down below yeah babe if you want a part two to this because I, I i feel like i'm, I'm talking to nobody you know what i'm saying like like yeah i'm talking to y'all but it's like i don't know what y'all going through so it's kind of hard to give a lot of quality advice when i don't have topics to go off of so yeah if you want a part two let me know so the last part of this topic is going to discuss how to keep relationships interesting okay so we talked about things to look out for and like good and bad intentions on getting in a relationship then we talked about like communicating things what not to do while you're in a relationship and now we're gonna get into how to keep the relationship interesting oh spicy y'all okay so the first thing i got is always find new things to do talk about and experience together that is so important okay so it's a thousand and one things to talk about i've been realizing that in my own relationship okay like i already knew that but like for real like don't be scared to have those uncomfortable conversations talk about people's past talk about people's past experiences their traumas their the things that they dealt with the things that made them become who they are not only is that just gonna have not only is that just going to create like a bomb ass interesting conversation but you're actually going to learn how to like maneuver and deal with your partner by learning about their past you know what i'm saying talk about their family their friends what they got going on at school they work their business or their artwork i don't know what y'all into but you know talk about what you're interested in those like when people are really interested in something they can talk about it for days so if you feel like y'all conversation has been boring the past couple of days, you know, just talk about things that you know they're interested in. If they're interested in sports or fashion, talk about what you know that they like. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is find things, find new things to do with one another. I have never gone to a pottery class. I really want to do that. I never did a sip and paint in public. My baby brought a sip and paint to me like two Valentine's days ago. I think that was so cute. Oh my god it's so fun to go like arcading with your partner you know what i'm saying if y'all are like competitive oh my god that shit was fun and like that was the first time we ever did it in our whole relationship that was lit or like you know you don't always have to go shopping and go to the movies like go to uh go to an aquarium have a picnic like visit each other families like see see different sides of people in different atmospheres so you can like get the full of them you know what i'm saying like i don't know shoot fuck it up you know what i'm saying oh my god travel travel with your partner because not only you going to learn new things together, you're going to learn different culture. You're going to experience different people and how they do different things and traditions and roads and customs. It's, it's just going to be amazing, okay? Like, just put your foot in different things and try different things together. That way y'all create memories from those experiences and y'all bond. just going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's, ah, yes! I'm getting excited because if you do that, you're just going to be having so much fun. Like, you really should be in a, in a relationship with your best friend. So, period. Um, okay, so the next thing, we're going to keep it a bug. Y'all got to keep the sex interesting, okay? Like, I feel like that's the elephant.
elephant in the room when I say keep things interesting in a relationship. Try new things, try new positions, try to do it in new places that you never done it before. Incorporate new things in the bedroom. I don't know if y'all into whips, chains, bondage. I don't know, girl. If you want to lick something off the, the Hershey's chocolate syrup with cream. I don't know, girl. Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Send cute pictures. Uh, if you're in a long distance relationship like me, girl, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Have a little FaceTime as friends. I don't know, okay? It's like a ton of different things that I can do. You know what I'm saying? And, oh my God, this is the last thing because I'm going to wrap this up because I'm getting hungry, okay? And I got some pizza and some wings in the house and I really want to go fix that up. So, the last thing I have on my list of how to keep a relationship interesting is to save time for you to miss your partner and to let your partner miss you okay especially if you live with your partner or you know some people are in relationships with like their co-workers if you see your partner a lot even if you don't girl i'm in a long distance relationship and i still like won't hit my nigga back asap you know i gotta let him i gotta let him miss me you know what i'm saying like, ah! I won't purposely do it, but like, you know, I'll just focus on what I'm doing, filming, editing, you know what I'm saying? And the next thing you know, a couple of hours go by, he hit my phone like, damn, baby, you wet, what you doing? I miss you. And I'm just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You got to leave time and space in between each other because, baby, the heart grows fonder with distance, okay? So... Take time to miss the partner, to, to miss your person. Also, if y'all talk 24-7, y'all not going to never have nothing to talk, like, nothing new to talk about. I do I do this in my friendships, too. Like, my bestie right here, we probably will link up, like, once or twice a month. And in between that time, so much has happened. I have so much tea to spill when I come in contact with her. It's amazing. The conversation, the experience just be litty because y'all got a lot to discuss. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know... Go into a relationship with good intentions. Make sure you communicate and learn your partner to best converse with them. Learn their love languages and all that good stuff. And, you know, keep things interesting. Do new things. Try new things. Talk about new things. And, you know, I don't know. I want to give y'all like a virtual hug if y'all going through some shit. Because I know when your relationship is poopy or you going through some shit with your person, your favorite person it could be the worst time in life okay so comment down below yes bae and if you call me yes bae for part two make sure you hit me up with some problems or situations or things you need advice on okay that could be family relationships friendships boo things you know what i'm saying so yeah that wraps up this video y'all because i'm hungry um make sure you like and share subscribe comment down below what you think about this new tarot card talk series and i'll see y'all in the next video bye mamas Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.